I'm going to share my re um, Akiro screen, which I believe most of you or all of you are quite familiar with. So just bringing that up. Okay, uh, and that should be sharing now. You can see that? Yeah, we can see Okay, that. great. So um, what, what you're going to do um, to submit your billing is identify the list of the patients that you have listed in your Acural um, with yourself as the office provider. Um, I'm just going to flip over there into the patient demographics and show you where that is. So in the patient window, the office provider is this provider that's listed right here in the top middle office provider. Right now I've got uh, for this patient elderly sunflower, the office provider is Judy Zeeman. So with that, um, you'll go into your Acuro icon in the bottom left and type, start typing in advanced and choose advanced reporting. That will open up your advanced reporting window on top of your Acuro. You'll click on the public folder in the top left and then again on the panel management folder in the top left. Then you're gonna see a list of different reports that are already built into your advanced reporting system. You're gonna choose and click on the report called patient information. In the patient information, you're going to see these widgets come up. And what we're looking for for this submission is this top left widget, the patient time since last visit. I call this circle a piece of pie, and it's going to very likely be in two pieces of pie, a smaller piece of patients that may have you as an office provider but have not had visits. And then the bulk of the piece is gonna be the list of patients that have had visits and qualify for your submission. So to see that list and work with it, you're gonna click anywhere in the larger piece of the pie. So one click on that and I see my list of patients. I don't have a lot of patients uh, that I see as a provider in my test database, but you'll see the full list. And once you see that list there, you're gonna go up to this little icon at the top right of that widget. It looks like a little piece of paper with an arrow and it's for exporting. And you're gonna choose to export it right back into a Acuro. So one click on a Acuro, that just opened on a different window. So I'm just gonna slide that back up for you. So in here, it's saying of the report that we just ran on the left-hand side, it is matching to the patients on the right-hand side that are already in my Acuro database. So I've got one-to-one -one match. That is exactly what you would expect to see as well. Um, seven matching patients loaded out of seven reported records. And I'm just gonna choose to confirm in the bottom right. Again, I've popped up an, a window that came up on another screen, so sliding it over. When I chose to confirm, um, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with running Query Builder within a Acuro, but this window that has come up is actually the same as the results of a query builder. So it's pushed us right back to query builder. And there's my seven patients. So now that I have my seven patients listed here, I'm gonna use my control A key or keystroke. What that's gonna do is highlight all of the results that have come into this report. And then I'm gonna to choose to select an action here. And in that action, what I want to do is create a bill. And when I choose that, I'm saying to the Acuro system that I want to create one bill per patient. So I'm going to end up with seven bills, all exactly the same. So I choose create a bill. And in here in the procedure code, I'm going to put in that approved procedure code of 98990. My system is not updated. And this is always Unfortunately, my reminder that I can't get an update because I'm in a, a test database, but after I show you this 
process, I'm going to show you how to ensure that you are updated. And when you search the code 98990, you will get that code. So you're going to put in the procedure code of 98990, and you're going to put in the diagnostic code of L23. Again, I'm not getting it only because I'm in a test database. So to complete this demonstration, I'm going to have to put in some unrelated codes just to go through the process. Once I've got my procedure code and my diagnostic code populated in my create bills window, I'm going to choose OK. And you're going to have a larger number of patients that you're applying this to. So this quick pop up of bills created successfully might take five or six seconds. So it's not going to come quite as quickly, but I want you to wait for that to come up saying that it's successfully applied and clicking on OK. And I'm done. So I'm going to close this query report and we're going to close my advanced reports because I am done, but I'm going to show you what it looks like over in the claims section. So here I've got that same list of seven patients has, up, has landed here with my procedure code. I'm going to get you to use your imagination that that's the 98990 and the procedure or sorry, diagnostic code, which will be the L23 and they're all listed here and they're ready for submission. Okay. Um, so the 98990 and the L23 are relatively new codes in your system. And if you're not familiar with how to update your MSP codes, I'm going to show you that real quick right now, because that is something that you're going to want to um, ensure you have, or you're going to have to double back and rerun your advanced report is, is really the only thing. So you'd like to do it in advance going into your Acuro icon. And I just like to type the word update. I get a few options here, but what I'm looking for is the update MSP codes. And when I click on that, again, I'm in a test database, so I can't go further than this, but this is the same pop-up that you would get when you're doing your submission. You're gonna confirm your data center number and you're gonna choose update. It takes about mm, maybe a minute for that to update. And then when you search, you're gonna find those new codes that may not have been in your system already if you haven't done an update recently. So that's preparing that report and, and sending that submission or we didn't actually send it. We, we put it here and it's in the daily claims of the date that we did and it's in the unsubmitted claims and it will go um, on your next submission. It doesn't go automatically. It's going to be exactly the same as any other bill that you create in a Carol. And that's it.